Ray loved the whole spirit of Ryerson. I'm a Ryerson alumna. So when I came along, it was almost um, serendipity. Ryerson was home for me. And then it became home for him. Ray and I first joined the Ryerson board almost 20 years ago. He would always say, we are all so fortunate to achieve what we have and we need to invest it back in the communities. Ray was there at every single meeting, paying attention, listening, and I got to work with him in a cause he loved, which was really the students at Ryerson. I was very fortunate to have known Raymond Chang uh, as a student. He was very much engaged. Ray was Ryerson's third chancellor, serving from 2006 to 2012. Ray Chang's life was a model of service to others. And though he's greatly missed, he has left an enduring legacy. He was genuinely curious about people's life journeys, and he, he really did love being the chancellor at Ryerson. He loved interacting with students. He made a promise to students that he would be the chancellor for students and really and truly, he lived up to it. It's not just a phrase that was given because, you know, he was a good person. It was a phrase that was given because he lived by that. Every week he was in a class. He didn't go in to do anything other than observe and, you know, probably learned a few things along the way. I think he took a dance class with the dance students one day because he just wanted to be part of what was going on at Ryerson. He was at Ryerson and he was there all the time connecting with the different events and groups. When you're a student speaking to an incredibly successful individual, it, it's intimidating as is. Raymond really knew how to just laser focus into the individual he was connecting with, making the person feel comfortable, at ease, and obviously very special. He was incredibly successful, but he never forgot how hard it was to get started and to help people who were getting started. And that was a, a passion of his. He just very much believed that education was a great equalizer. He for sure had the deepest belief in the importance of education and particularly lifelong education. As a young kid, I would see him work all day and study at night. With Ryerson, the School of Continuing Education really gave individuals that flexibility to get their education. That really spoke to him. When he was approached for the naming at the Chang School, he was really, really uh, a little bit anxious about it. The Ryerson team was able to, to show him how important that was. It was difficult to talk Ray into actually naming our school because he didn't really want his name up there. And after we talked long, he began to understand that it would be a profound symbol. He was a compassionate human being who would go out of his way to help anyone who needed help. I'll never forget, I got, I got a chance to go to his celebration of life that we did. The amount of gratitude and love that people had for him, that's a legacy that no money can ever actually account for. It was more about the service and the way that he made people feel. His support of Ryerson, I think, is legendary. It's about the time he spent with students. What a role model. And I, I wish I could achieve 10% of what he achieved through what he did for the community. I will be eternally grateful forever for Ray's generous contributions, not just as our benefactor, but as our friend, our colleague, our inspiration. The G. Raymond Chang Outstanding Volunteering Awards are named in Ray's honor for his deep belief in the importance of volunteering. There's importance in recognizing and showcasing people that do donate their, their time and funds to worthwhile causes. If you're making a positive impact on somebody's life, you've just made the world a little bit better. And that's what he would want to focus on. So I think having these awards named after him is fabulous. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the G. Raymond Chang Outstanding Volunteer Awards. The tribute video you just saw gives you some idea, I hope, of why we named our volunteer awards after Ray Chang. My name is Ian Mishkel. I am Ryerson's Vice President of University Advancement and Alumni Relations. Before we begin, I want to pay my respects to the Indigenous peoples, elders, and ancestors who stewarded and cared for the nature and people who lived on the land where Ryerson is located today. At Ryerson, we've made a deep and long lasting commitment to truth and reconciliation. I invite you to learn more about this work online and in person next time we can get together on campus, which I do hope will be soon. This week is National Volunteer Week, 
And today we celebrate the spirit of volunteerism and the impact our award recipients have had on the Ryerson community. I'm also happy to welcome back previous award recipients and others joining us for this celebration. In a year marked by tremendous challenges, it's been nothing short of inspiring to see how our Ryerson community came together to be a source of strength for the university, our students and the city as a whole. Our community mobilized to respond to these challenges, producing and donating personal protective equipment, initiating new research across disciplines to help understand and reduce the impact of the virus and helping students struggling with food and financial insecurity. In your company, Ryerson has risen to the occasion. Thank you to all for your kindness and commitment. Your generosity with your time and talents helps shape an exceptional educational experience for all our students. It helps us strengthen the excellence of our offering and improve access for all those who will benefit most. If you're tweeting or Instagramming tonight, please use the hashtag RU Chang Awards 2021. Now it's my distinct pleasure to introduce Ryerson's president and vice chancellor, Mohammed Lashami. Thank you, Ian. It's my honor to say thank you and congratulations to all of the 2021 award recipients for all that you have done and continue to do for Ryerson. You have my deepest gratitude. We are honored to have raised children, Andrew and Bridget, watching today. Ray's wife Donna is also with us. And I would like to thank the entire Chang family for lending Ray's good name to these awards. I'm proud to say that we count Donet among our accomplished Ryerson alumni. She is a communications leader, a volunteer, great friend to the university, and a most active do-gooder in our community. She, along with her late husband, Ray, are amongst Canada's most prolific philanthropists with their giving extending worldwide. Donut is an honorary degree recipient of the University of the West Indies and will be awarded a Ryerson honorary degree this June. Recently, she was appointed to the board of the Black North Initiative and serves on the Onyx Initiative Advisory Board. Two Canadian organizations founded in response to the reliant cry for social justice and equity. It's my great pleasure to introduce you to Donet Chinglo Chen. Thank you, President Lashimi. Good evening, everyone. On behalf of the Chang family, Andrew, Bridget, Savannah, and Lucas, our warmest congratulations to this year's G. Raymond Chang Outstanding Volunteer Award recipients. The impact of change has affected us all, albeit differently. So I'm very happy that we could gather to celebrate. I have read all 37 descriptions of this year's awardees and that you found the strength and motivation to continue championing Ryerson is remarkable. You are our best ambassadors and the best of who we are. Despite how much has changed, what remains is your love and your care for our university. If you are newer to giving to Ryerson, I want to say thank you Please now consider yourselves family. Like you, I am proud of my alma mater, its transformative leadership and its passion for community building. Ryerson's global impact is led by the works of its extraordinary teams. Our thanks also again to President Lashimi and the Ryerson team who put this event together and the outstanding support that members have given. It is much appreciated. Ray believed in Ryerson, its vision, its people, 
and more than ever, its students. It is such an honor that this award is named for him as he was amongst the greatest volunteers I knew. He loved Ryerson and Ryerson loved him. As we celebrate and recognize this year's recipients, I'd like to leave you with these words from Chancellor Chang in a presentation to a graduating class. And I quote, at the end of the day, a good life is not measured by the amount of wealth you have accumulated. It is evaluated according to the contributions you have made to society of yourself first and your resources next, end quote. Again, our heartfelt congratulations to this year's award recipients. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Danette. And now it is time to meet our 2021 G. Raymond Chang Outstanding Volunteer Award recipients. We are fortunate to have with us another proud Ryerson alumna, broadcaster and journalist, and very dear friend, Valerie Pringle, who will tell us about our outstanding award recipients. When Jamie Alexander couldn't find a good bathing suit for his transgender daughter, Ruby, he approached the Ryerson Fashion Zone with an idea to create his own. From there, Jamie and Ruby joined the DMZ and Ruby Shines was born, a company that makes bathing suit bottoms for transgender girls. The company has made a positive impact on the LGBTQ2S plus community and garnered significant media attention, where Jamie and Ruby have been sure to promote Ryerson as a part of their success. Janet Aronoff has worked for 25 years as a broadcast journalist. She was a researcher and a field producer working for CBC, CTV, Discovery Channel, and TV Ontario. She's fluent in three languages, and she began volunteering with the Chang Schools Programs for 50 Plus Conversational Connections Program in the fall of 2018. She's known for her positive energy, enthusiasm, and ability to make program participants feel at ease. She's continued to provide students her support and guidance virtually during this last year. Since the Faculty of Law opened its doors, Aaron Baer has dedicated his time and compassion to its academic support program. His ideas, patience, and ability to connect with law students have set the foundation for providing much needed student support. Aaron has been available, approachable, and responsive to students' needs, always eager to attend to students in the matter they require most. His passion for educating and mentoring has made him an invaluable contributor to the success of Ryerson's law students. A graduate of the Master of Fine Arts for Documentary Media and the Certificate in Film Studies, Jermaine Bagnell has lent his media expertise to the Office of the Vice President, Equity and Community Inclusion, and the Black History Awareness Committee for the Viola Desmond Awards and Bursary Program. Over the last decade, his strong work ethic and keen eye for detail has helped the awards ceremony become a signature event for Ryerson. In 2018, Jermaine worked tirelessly to create a visual display featuring Viola Desmond and telling the extraordinary story of her life through images. A retired writer and content creator, Bill Bean has been a dedicated volunteer with the Tri Mentoring Program. As a career mentor, he's taken on multiple mentees and fielded many student one-off requests. He attends all program events and has been lauded by students as an excellent mentor. Bill also served as an alumni ambassador for the Kitchener area, and in that role was the point person for sharing alumni news and activities and events in that area. Tom Birchall's service to Ryerson began as the student representative on the Academic Council in 1972, where he helped approve the course outline for the first degree granted at Ryerson. Tom reconnected with Ryerson in 2011 as the alumni ambassador in Nova Scotia. In 2012, he joined the Ryerson University Alumni Association Board of Directors, eventually becoming Chief Parliamentarian and Secretary, a role he held for five years. Tom's counsel was instrumental in the evolution of the RUAA Board into an alumni council. 
Business management graduate Kevin Callahan has served the Ted Rogers School of Management by assisting with alumni events in San Francisco and the Silicon Valley and opening doors for TRSM students in the Bay Area. In 2019, he developed and hosted a three-day preparatory program in product management. The program ran in person that year and virtually in 2020, each time meeting with great success, bringing industry professionals from across Canada and the United States to facilitate, coach, and connect with students and alumni. A proud Ryersonian and 2009 biology graduate, Adam Dimitri is a member of the Faculty of Science Mentorship Program and has been involved with the university for many years as a volunteer and subject matter expert. Despite his busy schedule as the Canadian lead for the North American Neurovascular COVID-19 Consortium and as a clinical fellow at Harvard University, Adam continues to be a strong advocate for Ryerson within the health community in Canada and North America. Mitch Fraser has served as chair and vice chair of Ryerson's Board of Governors on the volunteer board for the Ted Rogers Student Society and is the founder of the Ted Rogers Schools National Institute on Aging. He has been a tireless advocate of students in the Ted Rogers School of Management and the Ryerson Law School and serves as a mentor in the Ted Rogers School Top 200 program. Mitch has also been instrumental in the realization of Ryerson's Faculty of Law. He led his firm to become the inaugural scholarship supporter of the school and is unwavering in his support of fundraising efforts throughout the legal community and beyond. Tova Gason is a professional speaker with years of experience in marketing, communications, events, fundraising, advertising, and sales. She's been a volunteer for the Tri Mentoring Program as a career mentor and has gone above and beyond with her mentees. In December 2020, together with her mentee, she hosted a major event with TMP to discuss networking, entrepreneurship, and a variety of other business topics, providing attendees with great insight and resources to use to expand their skill set and create their own path to success. As president of the Photographic Historical Society of Canada, Lauco, Clint, Hey, Horiu has a keen interest in the Ryerson Library Special Collections Unit and the opportunities it provides for students exploring both historical and contemporary photography. He has stewarded a number of significant contributions to special collections and acts as informal liaison between the extensive community of the PHSC and Ryerson Library's archives and special collections. Marcy Ian was a broadcast journalist and host at CTV and Bell Media and a member of the Ryerson University Board of Governors from 2016 to 2019. She is now the Member of Parliament for Toronto Centre. She's a graduate of Ryerson's Radio and Television Arts Program and her continued support in board activities and events truly speaks to her work ethic and involvement with Ryerson. Not only is Marcy a valued Ryerson community member, but she's an exceptional representation of what Ryerson students can accomplish after graduation. A founding partner of Stewart and Cat, Cynthia Cat has practiced accounting, tax, and financial planning for over 30 years. She's frequently consulted as an expert for financial articles, television programs, and media, including Global TV's Money Makeover, where she was the host and primary advisor. At the Ted Rogers School of Management, Cynthia has made a tremendous impact serving as a mentor to students in the Top 200 program and on the Program Advisory Council for the Ted Rogers Leadership Center. A 2009 Ryerson School of Interior Design graduate, Stephanie Kutrubis is an art director, production designer, and a member of the Directors Guild of Canada. She always makes herself available for set design presentations, consultations, and as a guest critic and panelist for RSID career nights. Stephanie is also extremely helpful in providing letters of recommendation and tutoring and in ushering RSID graduates into production and set designs for film and television. She is tireless in her promotion of RSID, its students and alumni. 
Peter Labouille is the itinerant child and youth counselor at the Toronto District School Board. He also works in private practice at Peter Labouille Counseling and is a clinical associate and intake coordinator at Schuler Counseling and Consultation. Over the past decade, Peter has made it a professional obligation to support child and youth care students. He helped create a new pilot project, the CYC to CYC mentoring initiative that child and youth care has launched with the Tri Mentoring Program and the Live Actor Simulation at Ryerson and has become an exemplary mentor within that program. Don May is a member of the first graduating class in urban and regional planning from Ryerson University. He is a long-serving volunteer who has had a remarkable career as a registered professional planner with his work marked by service and recognition awards. Don graciously stepped forward and volunteered as a member of the School of Urban and Regional Planning's 50th Anniversary Celebrations Committee, landing an alumni perspective from the school's early years and bringing together his class for a reunion. Florence Mintz is a founding advisory board member and has served as head of the Ryerson Image Center's advisory board since 2014. She has been a generous supporter of the Ryerson Image Center, including to its internationally recognized research program, galleries, and fellowships. Florence's career background as an economist and a management consultant certainly helped advance the Rick's reputation in Toronto, nationally and internationally. Rachel Morier has become a leader of sustainability initiatives in packaging and the graphic arts and has been a continuous advocate and supporter of the School of Graphic Communications Management. She has been a guest lecturer in numerous GCM classes for many years, inspiring students to impact environmental change in the industry, and was a keynote at Enactus Ryerson's Inspire Speaker Series. Her work and expertise continue to influence the GCM and packaging community and set a strong example as a successful alumna. As one of Canada's leading labor and employment lawyers, Simon Mortimer provides invaluable assistance to Ryerson. In addition to the professional relationship, Simon gives his time to provide workshops to university leadership on issues of concern and was instrumental in the creation of the Hicks Morley scholarships in the Faculty of Arts and the Faculty of Law. Simon is also a great supporter of the university's law practice program and was active in rallying community support, leading to the establishment of Ryerson's Law School. Wilhelm Nassau, photographer, documentarian, and educator, is a stalwart champion of the Ryerson Library. A significant gift in kind donation brokered by Willie was instrumental in growing the library's fledgling special collections unit. He continues to be generous with his expertise and his connections, which have contributed to an extensive collection of photographic memorabilia that is widely used by Ryerson researchers. Jacqueline Ningmanjuan is a child and youth care practitioner at the Dufferin Peel Catholic District School Board and the Humber River Hospital in the Child and Adolescent Mental Health Units and Clinic. As a devoted CYC alumna, Jacqueline sits on two different committees and has volunteered as a mentor for first year students. And for the last three years, she served as a field supervisor to the fourth year students. Emmy-nominated producer and president of production and development at Zayden Marin Productions, Mark Nicholson has been a mainstay of Ryerson University's RTA in LA since 2015. He has led more sessions at the event than any other industry expert, delivered candid and encouraging talks as a guest speaker, 
and graciously provided students with critical feedback on their pitches and projects. Most recently is offered to mentor RTA and LA participants and is currently assisting in the development and production of a student's one hour television drama. Emily Ong is a senior credit analyst at TD Bank. She's a proud alumna of the Ted Rogers School of Management and has been actively engaged ever since graduation, serving as an industry speaker at student conferences and events, a mentor at the school's top 200 program, and on the board of the Ryerson University Alumni Association. In May 2016, Emily was awarded the Alumni Volunteer Leadership Award at the inaugural TRSM Alumni Awards reception. Her enthusiasm and passion continue to inspire all who come in contact with her. Ayaz Pira is the Senior Vice President, Digital Banking and Enterprise Innovation at CIBC. A proud alumnus of Ryerson University, he currently serves as Vice Chair of the Ted Rogers School of Management's MBA Advisory Council and was awarded the Ted Rogers School of Management Alumni Trailblazing Award in 2019. Ayaz continues to be a tireless advocate of the Ted Rogers School and its students. He's opened career paths for many graduates over the years and is always happy to provide students and alumni with advice and counsel. Nigella Purbu is a founder of the Onyx Initiative, which acts as a catalyst for the professional growth and development of Black Canadians as they launch their careers after university or college. Ryerson is an educational partner with Onyx, and Nigella approached the university prior to its launch for key insight and data to help shape how the initiative conducts outreach to post-secondary institutions across Canada. The Onyx Initiative also offers a customized professional development learning path curated with LinkedIn Learning to several talented Ryerson students through its Onyx Scholars Program. Since graduating from child and youth care at Ryerson University in 2013, Shazia Ramji has always been ready to lend a helping hand. Over the past six years, she has mentored students been a guest lecturer, and volunteered her time to support CYC students with their assignments. Currently, Shazia is a CYC to CYC mentor, which is a pilot project launched by Child and Youth Care in partnership with the Tri-Mentoring and Live Actor Simulation programs at Ryerson. Gina Roo is a proud Spanning the Gaps alumna and has become an exceptional spokesperson, advocate, and promoter of the program. She has represented Spanning the Gaps at various events and forums, sat on alumni panels, volunteered at program orientations, and assisted as a career and academic mentor to the current students. Gina has worked tirelessly to share her story and engage with current and potential mature learners and help them gain a better understanding of the resources, supports, and services available to them to ensure a rewarding post-secondary learning experience. After graduating from urban and regional planning in 2002, Maurizio Rogato became an active member of the Ryerson Planning Alumni Association, eventually serving as president of the group for five years. In 2014, he joined the board of directors for the Ryerson University Alumni Association, where he oversaw the academic association's portfolio and served as vice president. A recipient of the Ryerson University Alumni Achievement Award and a selfless ambassador for the university, Maurizio never hesitates to share his expertise, his connections, and his time to support Ryerson, its students, and his fellow alumni. Shafiq Shamji is the principal cloud security architect at Scotiabank and a recognized expert in the field of cybersecurity. At Ryerson, he currently serves as vice chair of the Ted Rogers School of Management's Dean's Advisory Council, and he volunteers his time by providing academic leadership and advice related to cybersecurity programming and leading fundraising efforts through the Dean's Circle, and also being a key contact to the Ismaili community. In addition to his volunteer work at the Ted Rogers School, Shafiq is also providing strategic insight and advocacy in the development of the Rogers Cybersecurity. Catalyst. 
Godin Sibe serves on the Dean's Advisory Council at the Ted Rogers School of Management and was vice chair of the school's Real Estate Management Advisory Council. She's provided senior academic leadership with advice and counsel on the skills needed to be successful in our changing marketplace and has been a tireless advocate of the TRSM programs. She's provided invaluable legal counsel to Ryerson as we develop and build out the campus, volunteering her expert guidance and support. Godine has also been an unfailing champion of the new faculty of law in the legal community with generous and ongoing support for our students and its equity, diversity and inclusion initiatives. Kyle Stewart completed both a Master of Science in Management graduate degree and a Business Technology Management undergraduate degree at Ryerson University. He was also a varsity athlete and, as a member of Ryerson's men's soccer team, assisted in the road to Russia, teaching soccer development and life skills with a Russian orphanage. Kyle has also served as a Ryerson Rams tutor, helping active players with academic work and participated as a volunteer runner in the Ryerson Rams Care 500 Smile Challenge. Megan Stovall McKnight, COO of the Princess Margaret Foundation, has worked tirelessly as one of the founding co-chairs of the Faculty of Science Mentorship Program. She's been a passionate advocate and recruiter of mentors from within her network, bringing numerous new friends to Ryerson and the Faculty of Science. As a mentor herself, Megan works with and supports current science students at the university, offering her guidance and inspiring students during the difficult weeks and months of the pandemic. Loretta Swan is no stranger to the School of Urban and Regional Planning, where she has dedicated over 25 years of service to Ryerson. Recently, she volunteered as a member of the SURP 50th Anniversary Celebrations Committee, where she played a crucial role in sourcing content that acknowledged the people, communities, and ideas that have developed the school's history. In her second year as a student, Ryerson University Athletics Hall of Fame inductee, Stephanie Veltman, led Ryerson to establish a women's hockey team. She then took the team to its first championship. After graduation, she led the Women's Hockey Alumni Association and provided advice and insight as a member of the university's Athletics Advisory Council. Stephanie also joined the board of directors of the Ryerson University Alumni Association in 2011, where she served in various capacities for nine years, including director of shared interest groups, vice president, and president. Known as the connector, Rodney Yip regularly puts his network, ideas, and resources to work for Ryerson. He has connected nursing students to internships, mobilized volunteers to showcase Ryerson's innovations in robotics at the Ontario Science Centre for 10,000 people, donated beehives for Ryerson's urban farm, and planted trees for the Ryerson Grove at Camp Trillium. Rodney also served on the board of directors of the Ryerson University Alumni Association, where he directed the Life Stages Committee's work. He brought the partners together for Ryerson's first family STEM event and regularly advocated for alumni benefits and representation. Mayan Ziv has dedicated her life to shine a light on accessibility challenges around Toronto and Canada a 2020 recipient of the Governor General's Innovation Award and a 2019 Ryerson Alumni Achievement Award, she founded Access Now as a master's student at Ryerson. It's a mobile app designed to empower people living with disabilities by connecting them with information on the accessibility features of businesses and experiences in over 30 countries. The app's success has made Mayan a frequent media headliner, and she takes great care to mention the contributions that her time at Ryerson and the DMZ have made in realizing that success. Congratulations and thank you to the more than 200 past recipients of the G. Raymond Chang Outstanding Volunteer Award.
congratulations once again to all our 2021 award recipients. It is inspiring to hear the range of contributions our extraordinary volunteers have made to Ryerson and our students. Just an incredible group of people. As in past years, the volunteers recognized with an award in 2021 have had an impact across a broad range of spectrum of fields and disciplines at Ryerson, helping us to develop solutions and nurture the talent needed to meet the challenges faced by industries and communities around the world. Please visit Ryerson's alumni website for more details on these awards and our award recipients. The work of Building Toronto or Ryerson has never belonged to just one person or government. Thoughtful, committed citizens like you have given their talent and their resources in each generation to develop the city for those who come after. Thank you for all that you do. With us to close this celebration is Ryerson's Chancellor, Janice Fukukusa. The Chancellor is Ryerson's foremost volunteer, and like Chancellor Emeritus Raymond Chang, Chancellor Fukukusa is a truly outstanding volunteer and friend to Ryerson. Chancellor. Good afternoon, everyone. It's a pleasure to be with you today and to honor your outstanding commitment to Ryerson. The Ryerson mission is about anticipating and responding to the needs of society. As a city builder, as a place of innovation and advanced knowledge, we thrive through partnership and connection to our community. Volunteering is about personal dedication to community strength. On this National Volunteer Week, it's my pleasure to thank you for your deep commitment, your wonderful example, and for all the ways you've chosen to advance the Ryerson mission. It's a privilege to celebrate your support. Thank you everyone for joining us. We look forward to seeing you back on campus when we can gather safely again. We look forward to celebrating next year's G. Raymond Chang Outstanding Volunteer Awards with you in person.